96.7 to be Hood Rich Radio is the voice of DJ Scream. We got a special guest up in the building, the hit maker Flip De Nero is yeah, here. Yeah, welcome, yeah. welcome to the ATL, my what's, brother. How you good? feeling? What's good, big bro? Thank you for having me, man. Everything I, good? How, 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 often do you, good. how often do you frequent Atlanta? Um, This is my second time in Atlanta, honestly. Okay. Yeah, I love it, though. Rocking with it? Yeah, I love ATL, man. I what's the pros? What's some, what's some of the highlights of, of your visit thus far? Man, I got some... Some good weed. I ain't gonna okay. lie. Okay. All right. Hey, we'll start the, the, the women is beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Just the vibe is authentic. Yeah. And good food, man. That's everything I need. Does, it all, it, it, does that help you get into the studio and get that vibe for some yeah, music yeah, here? You've been in the studio? Definitely. I've been in the studio up. just catching vibes with different producers. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I've just been cooking up. You know what I'm saying? Chilling. Let's explore a little bit of the flip the narrow story now. Yeah. You you've been you've been grinding doing your thing for mm -hmm. some time, mm -hmm. but then it seemed like you started to get like these massive cosigns. Uh, salute to DJ Khaled, of course, yeah, DJ Khaled. and a lot of different people on social media. Kind of tell us how that came about and how you felt when these cosigns. Um, were coming. All right, so I'm gonna just give you the whole rundown on Flip De Niro. Um, I've been making music for quite some time since I was a little kid. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, mother and father, they were in the church. You know what I'm saying, so. Just that whole singing thing was in, it was just instilled in me from a young age. You know what I'm yeah. saying, as I got older, I started to pursue music. I kept pursuing music. Me and my bro Los, that's my engineer. Mm -hmm. um, we just kept cooking up, cooking up. I had got signed to Cinematic Music Group. Mm -hmm. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny Shipes. Shipes. Shipes, you know Johnny Shipes. Shipes. Yeah. Shout out Johnny Shipes. Um, me and Johnny, we did our run. You know what I'm saying, we we kept working, putting in footwork. Um, and then I met Sav. Sav was like a, a mentor slash big brother to me. Mm -hmm. He just kept speeching me, kept giving me jewels, game, and um. While he was giving me game, he was also playing seeds to other people that he knew. Like, yo, I got this artist named Flip De Niro. Mm -hmm. like, he's official. Like, yo, look out for him. And it just so happened, it just so happens to be Caleb was one of the people who the seed was planted on. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. me and Caleb, we just kept sharing words back and forth. We built a relationship. And then, boom. Oh, mm -hmm. That's how it happened. How was that first conversation with Caleb when you first talked to him um, and met with him? Because you know he's a very powerful brother with his um, wordplay. Surreal. So real. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was mind-boggling. I mean, just being on the phone with a legend, someone that we all look up to in the game. So it was just like, mm -hmm. it was a crazy feeling. So when you have an OG giving you game, like, yo, keep going. You want to something. You got something special about yourself. It makes you mm -hmm. kind of think different, you know? How does life change for you, like, on a day-to-day, -day, though? Like, your day ones, your friends, your family and everything, um, being as in now, platinum records, you know what I'm saying, more cash and everything. Yeah, like, you feel like a lot of people is changing the script on you? Yeah, you know what I say? Um, people say you change when you get money. You know what I'm saying? It's not really you changing. It. It's the people around you who change because they have certain expectations of you. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And because I guess you don't meet their expectations of satisfying their physical needs as far as it goes with materialistic items. Mm -hmm. They look at you like you're the one who's who, who's changed. But, mm -hmm. yeah, man, I experienced a lot of it. So mm -hmm. I'm just focused. I'm always just focused on myself. Find yourself having to cut some people off or distance yourself. Definitely, definitely. I still keep some day ones around, you know what I'm saying? I always tend to my family. But as far as it goes with, like, friends, et cetera, et cetera, mm -hmm. nah, I stay to myself. Now, you're from Brooklyn? Yeah. What part of Brooklyn? Um, Canarsie. Canarsie. So yeah. now, when we say that, there's a heavy lineage of rappers, yeah. hip-hop royalty and everything. Uh, how does that impact you in the way you move and the way you think and how you, how you are starting to create your legacy? Um... Like what you mean? Like further elaborate. Well, like, well you got some heavy names. It's like if you if you if if you're from Atlanta and you're from College Park, mm -hmm. and you bring up Outkast mm -hmm. and you bring up certain names. So I'm saying, is there any pressure to be the next one, maybe to hold the throne from Brooklyn? Um, I wouldn't say it's pressure. It's more so just showing the people in Brooklyn, like yo. I, I wouldn't say it's pressure. It's more so just building the relationship with these people who would who you'd feel a pressure on you mm. if that makes any type of sense. I got you. You know what I'm saying? Because I already know, like, I know what I'm capable of. I know I'm a great artist. I'm a great songwriter. Mm. I know I'm a great performer. You know what mm. I'm saying? So my whole thing is just to lock in with these people who I consider great artists in Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Um, shout out Casanova. That's my big bro. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. What's some things on your bucket list that you that you want to accomplish maybe in and outside of the industry? Some things, shit that things Flip De Niro has to do. Things on my bucket list that Flip De Niro has to do. Mm -hmm. um, Flip De Niro, I have to, I, I, I definitely have to build a label mm -hmm. from the ground up, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, just to put other artists who don't have nothing on. Um, I got to get myself more involved in real estate. I've been dabbling, just building my intellect on it. I love it. You talking money, man. Nah, People come um, here talking nah, about nah, cars nah, and nah, chains. Nah, nah, when nah. I ask them that, you talking, you man, talking money. I, like I, had, I had all that shit, man. When, yeah. when you get a car, you know what I'm saying, you spend 40 bands on a car, so and you, you crash that shit. Yeah. It's, it's, 
trust me, it's, it's, it's bigger things to it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I definitely want to get into real estate. Um, I started dabbling with stocks. My father's been teaching me about stocks lately, so mm -hmm. I'm getting my intellect on that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, man, I just want to better myself, just just be on a better level mentally, mm -hmm. spiritually, emotionally, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. or, How do you stay focused and grounded in this day and age with every all the craziness on social media? Because obviously we know now probably in your comments and your DMs yeah. everywhere, it's just yeah. all type of craziness. Yeah. Social media. How do you um, stay focused? Honestly, uh, prayer and weed. Prayer and weed. <laughs> Clap for prayer and weed. Uh, Clap with me, damn it. Uh, I like nah, that. Prayer and weed, but um, I, I just don't allow, I don't allow myself to be easily influenced by social media. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's the problem with our generation. You know what I'm saying? Um, People tend to go on social media and they get influenced by these people who cap their lifestyles, you know what I'm saying? And because they're watching someone do something that they don't do on a day-to-day -day basis, they catch themselves doing certain things to put themselves in a position to look lit, mm. and then they get caught up mm. in jail or some dumb shit, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not easily influenced by social media. I'm the influencer. That's how I look at it. What's the craziest thing that, that, that you probably receive, like? A DM or something like maybe a, a rapper talking crazy, a woman talking crazy. What's um, the craziest thing you, you can remember? Craziest thing I can remember. <laughs> craziest thing I can remember. Um, some shorty hit me up and was like, "Yo, I'm pregnant with your baby." <laughs> I had to like double that you, take. Like, that you didn't know? No, no I had to Obviously. like scratch. I scratched my <laughs> scratch head, head, like, your head. Like, was I that high? Like, huh? <laughs> what are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? I didn't like. Entertaining shit, but I definitely went on Shorty profile, which is looking through like, right. nigga, I ain't never been in this motherfucker. Bro. Right. <laughs> the fuck you talking about? Nigga, I ain't been in this state, nigga. Yeah. Just lying ass bitch. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, man. Uh, speaking speaking of of New York, man, um, you, you shouted out Casanova. Yeah. Uh, there's some other people like in the town that you collaborating with and building. Because um, it seems like it's a new movement coming through now. Yeah, there's a, definitely a new movement coming through. You know what I'm saying, um, shout out to who. Shout out my bro Najee, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Definitely want to say shout out my um, my bro Rico, you know what I'm saying? Just a lot of under, like underground people that's coming up, that's plenty of work. Mm -hmm. Shout out Sizzy Sash, you know what I'm saying? All my guys. Um, who else? Man, man. And then let's talk Atlanta too, man. Since you're out here, let's put it out there to the airways. Anybody yeah. you ain't get a chance to collab with yet? Hey, man, of course, I'm, you got Lil Baby who's nah, on nah, fire. Nah, 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 Lil so. Baby, that's my guy, you know what I'm saying? He's a very humble dude, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate him for even pulling mm -hmm. up to the video shoot. Mm -hmm. um, I was just on the phone with Lil Key. Mm. Key and got it. You know what I'm mm. saying? So me. That's a lot of strong melodies now. Flip the narrow. Got it. Nah, nah. Yo, yo, Key like got it. it. If y'all niggas listening, man, we gotta tap in ASAP before I leave. Yeah. But on who else? Damn, <sighs> yeah, man. Anyone, bro. I'm trying to get in with Zayto over me and Zayto. There you go. You know I'm gonna saying? send that text when we get done. Yeah, I was on the um, you know, thirty. Thirty rock. Yeah. Yeah. Number one record in the country. Yeah, thirty rock. That's yeah. the man. You know what I'm yeah. saying? We was vibing out. He was playing me some beats. Just me and him was catching the vibe. So shout out thirty. But I'm, yeah, man. I'm, I'm just out here trying to get on air. So in your downtime, out the studio, let's get out the industry yeah, a little bit, yeah. man. We already know you're a cannabis connoisseur. Yeah. What else you into, man? Like, what's your favorite movies? How you like to kick it? Where you like to go shop? Um, talk to us. How I like to kick it, you know what I'm saying? I, I love riding dirt bikes, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, I love riding ATVs and shit, so I'm always riding ATVs in my spare time. Mm. If I ain't riding ATVs, I just got my license back, so... Mm. I'm always driving fast, it's a ducking, positive thing. ducking the police. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, trying to stay out yeah. the way. How'd you lose your license with your mom? Oh man, man. <laughs> long story. <laughs> One long of those long nights. Long story, man. <laughs> One of those nights. Race car flip. That's all I can say. Oh man. Let's go. Well, at least you're here. Come on, we here. Yeah, you here. But on um, what else? Shit. I read. I, I read a lot. I used to read a lot, a lot. But mm -hmm. now I just dabble in the hand there. You know what I'm saying just to keep my intellect fresh. I'm always reading the Bible. I'm very religious. Mm. Um, shit. I like to cook. You cook? Yeah. Cook for the women. What do you cook for these women? Shit, I be cooking rice and fish, rice and chicken, you know what I'm okay. saying? I mean, a little Parmesan, all over the little spaghetti and shit, you know what I'm saying? Just the basic shit. <laughs> Chef just De Niro? Not, I know how to make it look good, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hit him with a little... <laughs> Pong, 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 pong. Chef De Niro. He's fucking around, you know what I'm saying? We, we talked a little bit about your performances. Now, I've seen them. Yes, I haven't sir. got to come to a show, but I've yes, seen sir. them online, and they are on 10. Thank you. Is that something that you learn studying other artists or is it something that just comes natural nah it's just something that just comes to me bro mm -hmm. i mean i like connecting with the artists you know what i'm saying i like making people feel like yo i'm not just here to be here on the stage like i'm here to like interact with you like yo mm -hmm. just because you all the way back there and it's like ten thousand people i still see you, you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. like it's all about showing love and just once you reciprocate that love properly and you give the love to the the, the crowd and the 
I don't like to say fans. Mm -hmm. You give the love to the supporters, mm -hmm. they give it back mm -hmm. ten thousand like percent. Even that. if they don't know your song, you know what I'm saying? But the beautiful thing about my situation my situation is they know my shit. Mm -hmm. So it's like I just feel good, man. I love performing. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. What's the craziest place you've been thus far? <laughs> craziest place I've been. Um, well, you was like the crowd is usually you feed off the crowd's energy, but they were so hyped they might have been draining your energy. One of them spots, Staples Center. Staples Center. That's right at home. Mm. No, no, no. You said Staples Center Staples in L.A. Center in L.A. Okay, I'm thinking Barclays Park. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Or, or, or that's one of them. I was in Texas. Texas. El Paso, Texas. Okay. Opening up yeah, for Trippy party. Red. They party. And they went crazy. Yeah. It was just bonkers. Like, yeah. Sick. Yeah. yeah. What do you think about uh, like the state of like mental health and hip hop? Because there's been a lot of talk about you know yeah. uh, people going through anxiety. We've been losing to some people to some overdoses. Yeah. What's your thoughts on that? Um, I feel like mental health is something that needs to be more touched on in this game. You know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of artists go through a lot of things emotionally. You know what I'm saying that they're, they're shocked from from being in a position at once and not being in that position again. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. they don't know how to tend to. Their emotions, you know what I'm saying? So they turn to drugs. You know what I mean? To each his own, you know what I mean? Like if you if you do what you do, That's by all means do what you do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But don't 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 turn to it as your backbone just to to cope with your feelings, you know what I'm saying? Learn how to cope with your feelings in a different way. Mm -hmm. So I feel like mental health is, is really important, man. I feel like these artists need a need a vacation. Mm -hmm. A mental vacation. Mm, mental vacation. Put Digital the phone detox down. Too social often. media, social media is Digital a part detox, of that. Yeah. Is, a, is a part of that that, yeah, that toxin. You know what I'm saying? Get off. Put that phone down and, and come back to reality. Come back you know to real life. I like that. I yeah. like that, man. Yeah. Let's do some 2020 predictions, man. What's three things that's gonna happen this year? It could be four flip De Niro, your team, or just in general. Man. 2020 predictions. predictions. Um, another plaque, multiple plaques, multiple um, plaques, Put more visuals. There. Um, mm -hmm. and just way more flipping they face. You know what I'm saying? Way more flipping they face. That's it. You going all the way more. to the top. Going in. Yeah. That's what it is, man. I yes, appreciate sir. you pulling up the hood, Rich Radio, man. Make sure you give everybody that Instagram and cool, introduce Rich. your new record you with Lil Baby me, right here. Yo, yo, it's your boy Flip De Niro, man. Follow me on all social medias, all DSPs, Flip De Niro, F-L-I-P-P-D-I-N-E-R-O. And make sure y'all tune into my new single, How I Move, featuring Lil Baby. Let's get Flip it. Flip De Niro, salute. You know what it is, hood, yeah. Rich Radio, 96.7 The Beat. Let's get it. Oh, Rich.